Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, overall, uh, quiet weather this evening. We've got great visibility in Providence under mainly cloudy skies, really not anticipating any precipitation other than maybe a passing flurry this evening and overnight. That would be about it. Temperatures now in the low to mid 30s. Now, downtown Providence is just 20 miles away from Chapachet. And the reason why I bring that up, look at Chapachet snowfall last night at 13 inches just an incredible gradient this was a a snowstorm that ranged anywhere from one to 13 inches so talk about you know the have and have nots here north foster 11 west greenwich 11 richmond at 12.1 uh, Barville coming in at nine and then you go to new bedford with only an inch and a half the airport in warwick only 3.4 uh, uh, westerly at 7.5 west warwick seven and western coventry at 9.3 so just this incredible uh east-west gradient in the snow. So you may be wondering, well, what happened to the 12-inch the snowfall? Well, it's there. It happened. But notice how it was shifted more to the west by almost uh, well, about 20 miles. So it was more in these pink areas. And then to the edge of that was more of a 4- to 8-inch snowfall. Then right into the city and towards New Bedford, anywhere from uh, just only 2 to 4 inches of snow. So that is the deal with that as we move ahead to the temperatures, which are a 32 to 34 right now. As mentioned earlier, some any wet surfaces. And there's a lot out there, not so much the highway. It's in great shape. The highways are dry. Secondary roads, parking lots, your, your front walkway, things are going to freeze up tonight. So be careful on some of these side roads traveling later tonight or that first step out the door tomorrow morning will be a little icy. So some icy spots tonight. Our next system on Friday is mainly rain. And here we go again. Potentially second half of the weekend watching for a potential coastal storm. Meanwhile, partly cloudy skies on the satellite photo. A lot of snow to our north, northern New England, upstate New York. So our storm from yesterday is broken in two pieces. One is east of Cape Cod, the other one to our south. But far enough offshore so that most of our precipitation is up in northern New England right now. Take a look at the forecast this evening and overnight. Other than a stray flurry, and that's it. It's basically quiet. But look at the temperatures. Well below freezing overnight tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. So icy spots early. It's mainly cloudy, but really not much in the way of precipitation other than maybe a flurry or a snow shower. See the blip of white right in there? So every now and then a flurry or a snow shower. Mid-30s during the afternoon, and then later tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, we're back down into the mid-20s. So for tomorrow morning, more clouds than sun. And again, early on, watch for some of these icy areas. By noontime, we're climbing to 34. So we're in the mid-30s tomorrow afternoon under mainly cloudy skies. A few light snow showers or flurries, even that might be pushing it. Uh, it's basically a dry day with highs in the mid-30s. Seven-day forecast, uh, finally some sunshine on Thursday. It's a decent day. It's comfortable. We've got the uh, highs in the mid to upper 30s. Next system on Friday is two miles, so it's mainly rain showers. Looking good on Saturday. And some of our computer guidance with a, another here we go again, potentially with another coastal storm. So stay tuned on that. That's obviously five days down the Road, but there's that risk for some steadier rain, wind, and snow with uh, temperatures in the middle 30s. And again, watch for some of these icy patches overnight. Mike and Kim? Tony, thanks. We have more coverage you can count on.